Um, just in terms of uh, comprehensive immigration reform, which obviously the president has called on Congress to enact over and over again, what is his sort of theory of the case right now for getting that done? Will he be taking his own actions to do outreach to members? Does he basically consider that a top priority going into the new Congress? So first of all, it is a top priority. I mean, the president put forth a comprehensive immigration reform on day one. So him doing that, that first day of office, the first day that he walked into the administration and sat behind the resolute de desk, clearly states that this is a priority for him and will continue to, to be so. Uh, and look, uh, we will continue to call on Congress to act. Uh, that will not stop. And look, I, I also want to just put this in a broader context here. The president inherited a mess because of what the last administration did. They inherited a, we inherited a mess. And, uh, you know, Republicans in Congress made it worse by blocking comprehensive immigration reform. And so what you're seeing from this president is he's acting. He's acting to protect, uh, to continue to protect the border, secure the border, and also deal with irregular migration. That is what he's going to continue to do that. So the enforcement measures we announced yesterday will result in more, not fewer, legal pathways for migration while easing the pressures on our broken immigration system, which has been broken for decades. And so uh, the NGOs and the border communities that support those arriving at our southwest border. Uh, but honestly, yes, the president made an announcement. He's made this a priority. He's made other announcements before today on what we're doing at the border, by especially with the um, uh, historic funding that he's put forth. But in order to fix what is happening currently uh, is to make sure that we have comprehensive uh, immigration reform. And that's what he's going to continue to call on. He was very eloquent yesterday. He talked about the history of this country. He talked about how we were a country of immigrants. He talked about our responsibility. But at the same time, uh, we have to make sure uh, it is done in a legal way and that we have pathways, uh, additional pathways, uh, for folks to do that. I guess we have a pretty good sense of what it looks like typically when the president sees something as being a top <coughs> urgent legislative priority. So, you know, will we be getting readouts of him making phone calls to lawmakers? Will we see members coming here? Will he sort of throw everything he has at this problem that he says he wants to get fixed? So look, I, I, there's been many initiatives that we have gotten done, uh, especially historic pieces of legislation that the president has done in the past two years that we haven't laid out everything, right? We think about the Inflation Reduction Act. We didn't lay out every step of who he was talking to. Matter of fact, most of you all were surprised uh, when that uh, was announced, the Inflation Reduction Act was, was announced. So look, the president's going to continue to have conversations with members of Congress, his team will do that on a array of issues that matter to this White House, and it matters to this White House because it matters to the American people. Um, and so that's what we're going to continue to do. I do want to address something that was asked, uh, that you, Michael, had asked uh, about uh, uh, the lack of support that we have received. Look, I, I have, uh, you know, we've heard from mayors across the country as well who have supported. Uh, you know, the president's announcement yesterday. And so, for example, Mayor, Mayor Todd Gloria, San Diego, California, the president's measures will help expedite legal pathways for orderly migration and increase funding uh, to nonprofits doing life-saving work in our communities. That matters. Mayor, Mayor, Mayor of uh, San Antonio, Texas, in lieu, and this is Texas, in lieu of much needed congressional policy, as I've stated, which is so important, and he tweeted this, uh, the president knew action humanely addresses the influx of asylum seekers entering the U.S. Eric Adams, has, as Mayor Adams, who has been critical, right, of, of us, said uh, it's an important positive step. And so, uh, and I have a few more, Den the Denver mayor, the Washington DC, Mural Bowser, and also uh, Mayor Lightfoot. They all have said, uh, have said they support the president's actions. And I think that's important to note as well. Uh, look, look, we know there's more work to do. We absolutely know that. And what the, pro the president is doing is he's using the tools in front of him right now uh, to uh, address a really critical and important issue.